Hi, this is Dr. David Stopoliski with the ACC Fellows in Training blog here at AHA 2014. I have the pleasure of speaking with Dr. Mitchell today who is presenting on the surgical treatment of moderate ischemic mitral valve regurgitation. Thank you very much for joining us today. Dr. Mitchell, would you be able to please discuss some of the background of the study that you'll be presenting? Happy to, David, and thank you for the invitation. This is a trial conducted by the NHLBI-sponsored Cardiothoracic Surgery Network. Uh, we presented results last year at this meeting on severe mitral regurgitation and the choice of whether to repair or replace that valve. So please refer to that uh, as well. Uh, we conducted this trial in 300 patients who had moderate ischemic mitral regurgitation who are being referred for bypass surgery. And the fundamental question in this group, which has never really been uh, adequately answered through observational studies or um, uh, independent uh, investigations by site-specific investigators, is the question of whether the addition of a mitral annuloplasty ring to bypass surgery benefits the patient. And Dr. Mitchell, can you describe some of the results of the study? Well, what we did, identified was that in patients with true chronic moderate ischemic mitral regurgitation, that the addition of mitral valve repair to bypass surgery did not produce a significant reduction or improvement in left ventricular end systolic volume index or reverse remodeling over bypass surgery alone. In addition, we found that there was no group differences between uh, mortality, MACE, uh, serious adverse events, quality of life, or functional status. But there was a difference in neurologic events and degree of mitral regurgitation uh, prevalence at one year. So we found more neurologic events in the mitral repair group and we found less uh, prevalence of mitral regurgitation in the repair group.